Well, it's happened again. The Concord Road Covered Bridge. It shows yet another vehicle whose boss, if you will, a too tall vehicle. It tried to go under that seven foot historic warning beam, but did not make it. Yet again, it's happened. CBS 46 reporter Brittany Edney is live from uh, Cobb County tonight. And Brittany, tell us how many times does this make uh, this year alone? Well, Sharon, in the past year, there have been 12 incidents. All right, I'm out here at the bridge right now, though. It's completely fine. Not sure if you can say the same about the driver's relationship with their insurance company, but you know, you live, you learn, you stop going under things with low clearance. The big, bad bridge. Or the thing that's just sitting there. Yet Cobb County commuters can't help but run into the warning bars. An old folks home shuttle van came through and ran straight into it and knocked uh, grandma's attic right off the top. We've done plenty of stories warning you. That's stories with a S. But it's not stopping drivers. At least these warning bars are. This isn't fake news. The clearance for this thing really is only seven feet. The county gives you a heads up. You've got a scrolling alert, a warning sign, and another, and another. You get where this is going. So why can't drivers see where they're going? When you hop in a car, you're in a tool that can cause damage or it can get you to your, to your place that you need to be. Charles gets it's, it. It's like going to a bank and pulling in up under the teller line and hitting the bank's building. Your insurance pays for that now, not the bank. Be like Charles. I chatted with Cobb County DOT folks today and they told me out of the 12 incidents over the past year that all of the drivers but three have been cited and of course it was their insurance companies who had to pick up the tab for any of the damage that was done out here. Sharon? Uh, yeah, Brittany, um, what does the Department of Transportation think about all of these drivers, again, more than one a month, who keep running into the beams even though, you know, some would argue there's plenty of warning signs. Others might say if all these different people are hitting the bridge, maybe there's more that needs to be done. Well, they've kind of narrow it, narrowed it down to two things. One, maybe it's kind of distracted drivers who are too busy looking down at their GPS uh, and not looking out for all those signs that we just showed you. And also, too, the people that really aren't those daily commuters like Charles, who we introduced you to, the people who aren't familiar with the area, so they might just not know how low the clearance is for this bridge. Sharon. Brittany Edney tonight in Cobb County. Thank you, Brittany. CBS